All right, guys. So basically, in this video, I'm going to show you how to activate uh, Windows 8 Pro upgrade after you installed Windows 8 um, via clean install. So what happens is that normally, if you are using an upgrade key, you can't do a clean install. You're supposed to literally just do an upgrade. Um, but clean installs are much better for a lot of different reasons: performance, um, some leftover files. If Windows forgot to clean it up properly or whatever. But just in case, it's better to always do a clean install when you're upgrading Windows. Um, but what happens is that uh, the upgrade key, um, it will accept it when you're installing Windows, but afterwards it won't accept it. Like you'll say, oh, you can't activate it or a bunch of other stuff. Uh, so for my desktop, which is my main computer, I purchased the Windows 8 uh, Pro upgrade and um, I did a clean install, removed Windows 7 Ultimate from it and all that, and it activated it fine. Um, but when I purchased another upgrade key for my laptop, the key worked, it installed fine and everything, but then afterwards it didn't want to activate. So um, I was researching a line and basically this is the way you do it. This is also the same way uh, that you can do it on, in Windows 7. Um, and some people uh, use this method in order for them to get Windows 7 uh, upgrade for a cheaper price. Um, I don't recommend you doing that. I recommend you to go legit and buy the key um, for the purpose that it was intended to do it. Um, but um, this is the way that you're doing it because this is legit. So. Um, so basically what you do is that you have to um, open up regedit or the registry editor. So you can press Windows R and then type regedit. And then you press yes. Alright, so now that we're in the registry editor, what we're going to do is that we're going to navigate to a specific part of the registry. So what we're going to do is that we're going to expand HKEY Local Machine, Software, Microsoft, scroll down to Windows, right here, current version, expand that, scroll down to where it says setup, so expand that, and then where it says OB out of box experience, click that, and then there's going to be this thing that says media boot install. Normally, if you're getting this error, it's going to be set to 1. So what you're going to do is that you're basically going to double click it, and then set that to 0. Okay, so that's one part. Uh, once you set it to zero, just close that out. Then open up the command prompt in administrator mode. So this is in administrator mode. It's not. But um, I'm going to open up another one. And that's going to be in administrator mode. Now in Windows 8, if you basically, um, if you pin the administrator mode to your uh, taskbar, what you can do is that you can hold shift control windows and then the number of where it is. So for example, if I wanted to open up my file explorer in administrator mode, this is the second one. So what I would do is I'll hold shift control windows and then I'll press two. And then that would open it up in administrator mode. Um, so that's it. As you can see, this one says administrator, this one doesn't. So all you have to do is that you're going to type um, slmgr space dash rearm. And then just press enter, and it's going to say that it's going to it's going to be successful. Um, then once you do that, just restart your computer, and then um, it should be activated if you put in the key when you installed when you installed Windows. That's basically what happened to me. I installed Windows on my laptop; everything worked fine. But then when it installed, um, it didn't want to activate. I still could use Windows, but it just wasn't activated. Once I did this, and I restarted my computer, and I tried to check it again, it was already activated. I didn't need to put in my key again in order to activate it. It was just activated already. So basically, that's all you need to do in order for you to uh, use your Windows 8 upgrade key um, in a clean installed environment.